Break apart the add-ins to find the sum. Let's remember how to break apart numbers. To identify the place values of a number, we start from the right side. The first number you bump into will be the ones place. The ones place has numbers reaching from 0 to 9. Then we move to the left side. The first number you bump into will be the tens place. The tens place has numbers ranging from 10 to 90. However, if you see a 5 in the tens place, it does not mean that it's a 5. It means that it's 5 tens, or 50. Next, we move to the left again. That number will be in the hundreds place. Numbers in the hundreds place range from 100 to 900. So if you see a 2 in the hundreds place, it does not mean 2. It means 200. Two hundred fifty six. Two hundred fifty six could be broken down into two hundreds, five tens, and six ones. This can be written as two hundreds, five tens, and six ones. We can also write it as two hundred plus fifty plus six. So if you add 200 plus 50 plus 6, you get 256. Let's try an example. 354 plus 235. Let's break apart 354. 354 becomes 300 plus 50 and 4 ones. 235 becomes 200s, which is 200, plus 30, and 5 ones. Now we add them up. 300 plus 200 is 500, 50 plus 30 is 80, and 4 plus 5 is 9. So 354 plus 235 is equal to 589. Let's try another example. 547 plus 139. Let's break apart the numbers. 547 becomes 500 plus 40 plus 7. 139 becomes 100 plus 30 plus 9. Now let's add it all together. 500 plus 100 is 600, 40 plus 30 is 70, and 7 plus 9 is 16. So 547 plus 139 is equal to 686.